Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Easy Symbol on your Mac. Now what this does is it allows you to install custom plugins to alter how OS X as a whole works or how only individual apps function. Now it does all these changes through the use of plugins. All the plugins for this are not um, hosted directly into the app. You have to actually search for them and download them. Some of the more useful ones are linked in the description below. But to get started, all you have to do is download the zip that is linked in the full description below and then unzip it. Once you're done zip, you're going to want to move the app over into your applications folder. All right, now that you have the app in your applications folder, go ahead and open it up. You're going to want to make sure that use symbol is activated. And after that, you can see here that I have a couple plugins already installed. The basic install process for any plugin is to download the zip for it and then unzip it and then move the bundle file over into the easy simple window. All right, after the uh, plugin is already in there, all you have to do is restart the app that it is modifying and you'll be all set. You can see here that I have a dictionary plugin. So I'll go ahead and open up my dictionary app. And what this does is it adds a bookmark functionality to it so that anytime you um, see a word that you're gonna be using often, you just wanna keep it um, as your bookmark, all you have to do is search for it, hit Command S, and then it'll add it to the bookmark list on the left. And if you ever want to get rid of a word, all you have to do is select it, press Command R, and remove it, and you can bring out that bookmark bar by pressing the sidebar button up top. Now, um, in addition to this one, I also have Menu and Dock List. This is one of my favorite plugins. It allows you to actually change up um, your windows completely, so you could change um, where it is arranged, either on the center window, left or right. You could um, toggle the menu and dock so that it completely hides them and you have a full screen experience. And you could also save where your window is actually located on your screen so that whenever it is open, it is open in that same position. So it doesn't matter where you close it from, it'll always be in that same exact position, whether it be in the middle of your screen, full screen, or at the left and right. All right, now if you ever want to delete a plugin, all you have to do is click the show plugin folder and then just select one and delete it from there and restart the symbol and you'll be all set. Okay guys, that's do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.